Interesting enough, I think this film is going to stir the pot. And that's why it's under the narrative feature category. <laughs> so we'll talk about it in a second. But let's jump into my review of the new film, Akel 1-1. What's up, folks, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today we're reviewing the film Akel 1 1, making its world premiere at South by Southwest Film Festival 2022. Yeah, so Akel is the Portuguese way of saying Raquel, which is uh, the American way of saying it. And I could be still wrong saying the Portuguese way, but I'm trying. Um, and by that, this film is in Portuguese with English subtitles. Um, but we'll go with Raquel to make sure I'm correct because I can definitely say that um, is a interesting story. So it's Raquel 1 1, which by the Bible, if you know, verse 1, chapter 1 is what this title is, is doing, um, is a interesting story that, again, I think it's going to stir the pot. Because to me, the first thing I thought about was like, oh, this is challenging religion. That's not a very, uh, sometimes that could be very controversial, but. I think a lot of people are going to relate to it to an extent. But, like, it's not really just the idea of challenging religion. I think it is trying to, um, I, I, at least for me, I feel like that this film is trying to tell you about when you feel a calling to kind of go with it despite what everyone else may think or feel or see. Um, and even if that means that makes you an outsider or, or there's, a, there's a bunch of things you could kind of connect this story too um but i will say i watched this film a couple of times because i wanted to grasp as much as i could the first time i still had a lot of questions um the second time i was really putting things together and then about the third time i was just like okay i know what this film is going to do and the biggest advice i can give you is pay attention to detail uh, because um some of the events of this film and kind of the order in which they happen they will have reference to later on in the film or previous within the film. So it is skipping a little bit in terms of the timeline and things aren't just happening concurrently. Things are kind of jumping around like the beginning scene uh, really plays factor in, until the end scene. And then there's some other stuff as well, too. So um, there's that. But anyway, let me tell you what this is about. Raquel and her father moves to a small town. Um, this is a start over for them. And with that, this is a very christian heavy town um is very much driven by the church um and thus everybody is buying into that uh, but raquel has this shall we say she has this one experience this mysterious experience that really has her feeling like she has a important yet controversial mission that is related to the bible which <laughs> in this case um the others are saying, oh, so you're 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 challenging the faith here. Oh, OK, that's not what we do around here. So that not only have already made her outsider for being somebody new, but this ultimately makes her outsider because now she's going against the beliefs of the majority here, which is the biggest thing I got from this is that, like, while one may seem that you have to go with the 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 the, the vast majority of the crew, if you feel that your doings is right to you and you feel like you need to kind of do your own thing then you should do it regardless of what people think um because one moment they may be against you then the next minute they may be with you and that's you know you just have to take it for what it is um but i will say like there is a whirlwind of repercussions happening because of the decision she's making um and you know this not only may this is not only cause divide between her and the town folks and the church folks but also there's some conflict with her and her dad and there's also very much a conflict with the, their dad's business and the town and everybody has spite towards them and all sorts of hatred comes along the way i mean we we know how this goes the the, the hardcore um religious people and I, I kept saying christians but i'm not even really sure uh but the hardcore religious people are definitely like hey pitchforks graffiti vandalism whatever it may be get them out of here like it, it and, and like that's really i don't i'm just keeping my mouth closed <laughs> but um you know the the, the the film itself has a lot of mystery to it and it is a lot of putting the pieces of the of the mystery together i wasn't so overly compelled about the story itself but that's why it makes 
very much sense why this is under the narrative feature category because that's always about it trying to tell a story underneath the plot and that's where your mind start to go places and you start to think things and whatnot and that's what this does good the plot itself was kind of whatever but like the messages underneath of it is where i think this film really excels um and then and, and it also left me wanting more or maybe should i say wanting different because a lot of the flashbacks that raquel was having in terms of her past and connected to this mysterious mission that she's on this audio that's going through her head I start to wonder and I start to think visually what was happening to a point that I wish we could have kind of seen some of those events played out because I think that would have really elevated a lot of the scenes that are happening, especially because some of them seem kind of tragic, kind of brutal, um, and definitely a lot of horror elements to it. But I also think you can't give it away because I think that would kind of spoil exactly the message that it's trying to give you if that makes sense but yeah like i said at times the film does feel eerie it does feel creepy but it never is over the top in any element um and i think that you know this really becomes the ultimate journey for raquel who she just discovers more than she ever could imagine to be honest uh and you know it's not only about her truth but like the truth for the ones around her and this wicked journey, I should I say, is really a it's a self discovery and um, being able to kind of cope with the past, but also kind of discovering the past and, and and maybe as I said, discovering some truths of things she may not have known about. Um, and I, you know, again, I, I'll be the first to say, like I'm not the most knowledgeable of the Bible, but there's definitely a parallel to a, a lot of elements to this that are very much stories. Uh, or, or or comparisons to things that are happening within the Bible. So um, don't feel tricked when you start to feel certain things or, or feeling a relation to watching some of these things happen to understand it like, oh yeah, this definitely feels like something. And I think that's on purpose. I think it's I think this this film is trying to be as thought provoking as it can to challenge certain norms um, that you may be accustomed to to really make you think outside the box. Uh, because even with the ending here. Um, I didn't kind of see it come, going that way, but I kind of gave you a tidbit earlier in this review where one minute they may be against you, the next minute they may be behind you. And I think that, you know, you kind of see how that plays into play here. Uh, and I will say one thing that is borderline spoiler is Raquel is literally living uh, the pains and the memories and the challenges and the struggles of her mother. Her mother uh who uh you know the tragedy that she went through and i think you know now she becomes the embodiment of that and she's living through it but yet she's learning and that right there provides a lot of moments of clarity for raquel and what she's enduring today so there's that and there may be some demonic or some other bit of entity or should we say a, a demonic possession yeah whatever you want to call it there may be that into play but i think that's for you to determine or not <laughs> so yeah but this film i am super excited for folks to give me your interpretations the things you've learned the things you are predicting uh what did you pull from this film i by no means think that i'm right about all of these things i just know that this film gave you a lot to think about it will in invoke you to want to re-watch this film numerous times um, in terms of the films, I thought the performances was good, especially with our lead who plays Raquel. Um, I thought she did a fantastic job. Her name is Valentina Herzaske, um, who I think her emotions and everything really navigates through the film perfectly for viewers to be invested into her uh, for both the things that are happening to her um, in her day to days, but also like the mental challenges that she's going through. And there is a lot of like, I, to me, I think there's a lot of different um, there's there's a lot of uh, of, of different uh, things that she goes through. I'm trying to figure out how to not like give spoilers here, but I, I think there's a lot of different things she goes through that one may be able to connect with that you may find yourself thinking that you may have been Raquel at some point in your life, and that is a very kind of scary thing. But you, 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 you'll see what I mean. Uh, but yeah, check it out. Jump in the comments, let me know your thoughts about this, and as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Big
Nobel. 